with a 60-game schedule. Do fans of teams that are traditionally really bad or coming into the season are really bad have hope? Uh, I think this is going to be the strangest season ever on every level. And one of the things that Eno Saris and I set out to do in this piece we wrote was just look at how crazy a 60-game stretch of any season can be. So we actually posed the question, could the Tigers win the World Series? Just as an example. Okay, Now, look, that's obviously crazy. But then you remember, there was a team last year that spent most of the season playing like a 108-loss team, but also had a 60-game stretch that would probably give it the best record in baseball if it happened this year. That team was the Rockies, right? They were 37-23 and 23 in those 60 games. Uh, they were 34-68 and 68 in all their other games. Now, if the 37-23 and 23 Rockies showed up, they wouldn't just make the playoffs. They would literally be a number one seed. We'd be thinking, hey, this is the best team in the league. And that's a really strange thing to contemplate. Um, and then once you get in, um, I think Eno demonstrated – so much random stuff happens in a postseason, any postseason, that once that team gets in, you can't say it's impossible that they would win. I, I'm, we're not, you know, we're not nuts. <laughs> we don't want to give people the impression that the impossible <laughs> is sure to happen, but could the impossible conceivably happen? I think we demonstrated that. Yeah, I mean, it's thirty what. 35% of the season, something like that. So who knows what could happen? 37% of the season. So with that as the backdrop as well, could we see the batting average? Somebody hit 400. Could we see that? Tell us why Milt Thompson give us gives us hope <laughs> that we could see history this year. Yeah, we were, you know, we started looking at 60-game stretches in which various players – 400 and Milt Thompson's name popped up and Milt Thompson played for the 1987 Phillies. He had a stretch of more than five weeks where he hit 500. Okay. And over the, the best 60 games of that season, he hit 423. Now in all the other games that season, he hit 234, but it's just a reminder of <laughs> the fact that over 60 games, Almost anything is possible for a guy with great bat-to-ball skills. Now, I, I've seen a lot of people write about this, and they focused on how long it's been since somebody hit 400 over the first 60 games of the season. And You have to go back to Chipper over a decade ago for that. But if you just look at any 60-game stretch, that's been done three times just in the last four years. Jose Altuve did it twice. Joey Votto hit 419 over 60 games uh, 2016. Andrew McCutcheon did it a few years before that. Uh, as I pointed out in the column, Ichiro once hit 500 over 158 at-bats mm. back in his heyday. So let's think again about guys with great bat-to-ball skills. Uh, Altuve, Christian Yelich, Mike Trout. We use the example of Luis Arias of the Twins. Um, could somebody like that hit 400 over the right chunk of 60 games? How could you rule something like that out? 